What's up traders, Marco here from elementaryfx.com and today is trading journal day. I would add that today is actually a bad trading journal day because we are actually closing in loss but unfortunately there are not always uh, days like the one of a couple of days ago that we closed with 700 and more pips okay so accept your, tr your lost trades and move on focus on your mistakes and try to improve every time you do a trade focus on your mistakes analyze them do your reports and in the, at the end of the day do some conclusions about your trades and try to fix your mistakes okay I cannot repeat again these uh, it's like the most important thing you can do in forex in stock market whatever okay analyze your trades but whatever let's get to the trades we I actually took uh, today or last few days okay I really want to start where we actually finished the last video which is here we actually finished on USD card weekly preview and your USD weekly preview. We also covered this one of USD CAD channel top. We already covered this one. We already covered this one. This was a loss of 20 pips. This was a profit of around 88, 85 pips, if I remember right. And this is the new. Okay, so I really wanted to start from here and cover everything. Okay, so basically, uh, price gap after um, Sunday French election all right so we were focusing on the gap close okay I entered short with a stop loss right above the channel touch all right we entered short because uh, price was already near the channel all right so I thought that price could just consolidate or go lower okay so as you can see price dropped down really nicely for about 65 pips all right uh, and then spiked higher retesting our channel as you can see now it went lower and retesting really nice channel I could have played it better I think but the, the way I placed this trade uh, the stop loss I think that was decent for mainly one reason because this breakout could have gone higher than that okay so basically uh, taking a loss here was kinda needed even if price retraces back but the point of my mistake was actually right here okay uh, I was 65 pips in profit uh, I could have took profit partially and let the trade run or I could have just uh, take profit right here because it was a really nice level that we actually drawn uh, last week okay or I could just have broke break even, move my stop loss to break even, and let the, let the trade play. Okay. Uh, I didn't do that because I was uh, too much confident. I would say in this channel. Okay. Lesson learned, and for that we lost actually 35 pips. Okay. And that was you see 35 pips. This was um. A preview of the upcoming trade on Urian pennant okay USD cap flag completion uh, it's still this one ah, okay these this was the 88 trade 85 trading profit and this was the 35 trading profit okay let's move on Urian we had a channel right here okay so i traded the breakout of this 
dynamic support as you can see it was really nice respecting it surprise breakout retested it and went lower i was actually 56 in profit same thing of jury SD. i could have played it in a different way but i was actually confident that here price would have actually bounced down again okay in anyway it didn't happen and we are minus 50 plus minus 35 we are minus 85 okay yes the cad that was our trade we actually we didn't get filled all right basically price broke to this channel all right the pink one and as our analysis says okay as you can see there is a blue channel flag retrace and the completion of the flag should be here okay now price actually broke the channel retested it i think i i i traded this ring i traded this ring i got 88 pips okay now price broke through it and what we do expect is actually a retest of the pink channel maybe even this one okay this pink one or even this one which would be better in fact i place my buy order right here and focus on the competition of the pole but price didn't actually uh retested i mean it went really close to this pink channel which i should reconsider because i think this pink channel is actually the right one that is creating a dynamic support right here and we can spot a double top right here so we do expect price to fall down to the pink one and maybe after touching the pink uh, bounce higher for the competition of of the pool okay i think i will enter the trade uh maybe uh later in the day uh maybe shorting this with a stop loss right above right above this higher high let me get a closer view okay maybe i will re-enter for something like this okay so uh if price retraces retraces a, a little maybe i will re-enter a short for around this okay it's still a nice risk reward ratio we might lose 13 to let's say 15 pips for a 70 pips profit profit sorry and i don't know i might think on it okay but anyway uh dynamic support created right here and there is a flat well a flat or at least let's say something like this top all right i really want to look forward to this trade but let's keep going so uh if our trade will get filled we will be actually up with 96 pips but unfortunately price didn't retrace yet so we keep moving on uh that was usd card euro yen euro yen so basically the point of this trade is kind of interesting okay so basically um a behavior of the price is that when price is near to an objective which is in the in this case is pink channel it actually is interested into testing that objective all right and the closer it is the the price uh the more interested it is to actually test that object all right so basically uh i saw some consolidation right here and i went long 
for this objective, the pin channel objective. All right. Price actually spiked up. Okay, for about sixty pips. All right. Price spiked up for about sixty pips and retraced down. Later in the day, after uh, changing my analysis, I found out that this one is a channel touch. All right. So we have a channel right here touching this and uh, touching the other the other higher highs okay it's okay um, as you can see here I was letting the trade go okay so we traded the spike we got it uh, the spike created actually a channel all right as you can see from touch to touch uh, and here I was actually um, waiting for a retest and a rebound to the higher side. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. It breaks below, and at the end of the story, I lost uh, 10 pips because I actually broke even right here the trade and re entered lower, but it kept going down. Okay, so it's fine. I have limited my losses a lot, but I didn't really get a profit right here with my 65 prof pips. Um, let's say I played um, decently on on the losses right here and really bad on the profits. Okay, I could have take profit partially and let the trade go. I could have a break even and waited without trading again but it's fine in at the end of the story minus 10 we are minus 95 okay jv usd okay as you can see uh, we have a channel we actually have two channels two patterns okay the pink one which is a downward flag and this channel pink plus this blue line all right which is a triangle with a flat base okay price broke higher it retested we entered for long because after retest we should go we should high higher okay and we actually reached this point which is a uh, really strong resistance level as you can see price is really here right now okay and these high high barely break higher than this one for a few pips okay so basically um, I was in profit for let's say 40 pips okay I was in profit for 40 pips and then Okay, it, it created a new high high with, with like five pips more. Okay, and then sparked down instantly, reaching my order. At, at that time, I actually uh, closed the trade because I thought price would have gone lower, retesting again this level. It can happen, it can happen. Um, I could have played it really safer this trade I could have took profit on this level this resistance level okay getting 40 pips for 20 pi 25 pips loss stop loss but in the end of the story we've got one pips okay if price will actually break higher than this level I will re-enter log again focusing for this point okay that's our focus so that was GBP USD okay USD yen uh, interesting trade this one interesting trade this one basically um, 
price broke to this blue channel this line and this line okay which which is the same those two lines are those two lines are exactly the same one is averaged and the other is perfectly peak to peak so basically price uh, break higher than this channel uh, sitting on a FIBO level right here and then I entered short to actually uh, for actually the retest of the channel right here okay so I do expect a breakout a retest and a higher higher movement which will end around here later in the weeks okay I place my trade um, my stop loss was actually really nice all right because it was uh, based on this area high this area high this area high this area high all these really nice resistance levels okay um, a safest trade would have been to actually place the stop somewhere around here okay above these high high so if price would have spiked up you will then get stopped out okay but anyway uh, we've got minus 25 and as you can see price is going down or at least was going down I really don't know if we can count this as a bearish momentum but anyway we will uh, we will be 18 pips in profit right now but we've got stopped out so minus 25 which brings us to actually minus 120 okay euro yen okay after we saw the trade that got pushed higher I sp uh, this is a really bad uh, head and shoulder it's just uh, I'm not trading head and shoulder right here I'm just trading uh, the channel touch right here okay so you can spot um, a high high this here a high high right here and a high high right here trading the double tops or the head and shoulder let's call it like this um, actually um, made me go in profit for about 50 pips now I do expect uh, price to actually keep going lower maybe for the gap close okay around here it will take a lot of time but it's fine it's still going this trade I uh, really want to go on Jurgen. Okay, that's a, a really ugly head and shoulder. Let me delete it. But, but I would say, but you can actually spot a dynamic resistance. All right, so uh, price, if price actually breaks higher. Then this resistance it means it will go higher, okay? Closing maybe or retesting this blue channel, all right? If not, probably price will go. Hmm. Probably price will go somewhere around here. Let's say, okay. So it's fine. I'm gonna let this go. We are 12 pips in profit for now. It's fine. I'm still letting this go. And okay, that was the last trade we did of your USD. which actually is just um, volatility actually uh, 
Well, not volatility, I actually played a bit higher my entry because I had two channels, okay? So I played my entry in the middle of, the, of those and I should have uh, kept more space for uh, the price to trade actually and while well, I actually used this resistance level, this nice resistance level here and that's it, I mean I should have or at least made a better entry on the lower channel or at least use that more space for my trade still price will be up 70 pips right now but we lost 25 and with us with up 25 we are at 145 pips closed am i right yeah am i right plus oh yeah that's also this plus this one we are 100 and 70 okay it's okay it's fine uh we have two trades i think or three trades going with profit so i don't mind we will get them soon uh i have to say that um with those trades i really kind of improved my um let's say entries on the channels because uh, that's a really nice example I mean um, I I really had uh, the the urge to actually enter the trade while I should have waited more maybe for a confirmation of this channel but you know I saw this really nice uh, spike down and retrace okay so i thought okay that's the channel why i should have entered three year or waited more anyway it's fine i learned my mistakes that's everything i really want to know and because of that improving my uh, my own strategy will just actually make me profit more in the future okay so lesson learned let's move on and that's everything for today. I hope to, you enjoyed this video, even if it was a lost video, okay? I am Marco from LemonTreeFX.com. If you want to know more about us, just go on our site or on our YouTube channel. There is written everything right here. And you can easily contact us on the site, on YouTube comment section or just write a mess a private message okay so that's everything for today see ya tomorrow traders maybe for some new trades for maybe some trades in profit okay see ya bye bye